Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another tips and tricks video here on Blowout Gaming. Today, we are going to be going through and doing some Mega Shellon breeding. And so, I am out here in the middle of the ocean, as you can see, and I brought along my big giant squid, my Tuso, uh, to protect me as I go down deep, because the Mega Shellons are really silly in the fact that we have to breed them down in the deepest of waters. And it actually took me some time Time to find exactly where I might be able to actually uh, breed these guys. Every time I got low enough, I thought I was low enough, it would say requires deeper water. So I kept going down, I kept going down, and if you keep swimming down all the way down to some of the deepest areas here in the middle of the map, you will find some areas that are going to be... Oh, here we go. And what I did is I found a little area down here that was safe from predators. I built myself a little spot here to breed these guys up. So as you can see here, I actually used behemoth gateways to kind of block off an area that was secure for these guys so that they were able to breed without any issues. And they should have actually just popped out an egg for us. So we just got our first fertilized mega shell on egg. And we're going to have to see how long it takes before they're ready to mate again three and a half minutes okay so we're going to be down here for some time but today's episode guys is going to be all about our mega shell on breeding as you can see these two are pretty plain grays and browns nothing fancy in terms of colors and we're going to change that so we're going to go through and we're going to go ahead and stack our color mutations i believe there are actually three maybe even four color regions i'm going to actually have to check um but we're going to go ahead and breed these up and we're going to start getting some mutations i do not know where i'm going to hatch these i don't know if we're supposed to hatch these down here let me see if this uh, starts incubating. Let me see here. And you are incubating. Okay, perfect. So, it does seem like we need the extreme cold down here at the bottom of the ocean to incubate these guys. And guess what? Because we've built this really awesome room, uh, we're going to be able to protect all of the babies that we do hatch. So, we're going to let these guys stay down here and breed up for a while. Um, but I am going to have to pay close attention and pick up all the eggs as we go. Uh, I'm basically just playing the egg catching game, and I'm going to hang down here. But, I also wanted to show you that these are the stats that we're trying to get. Obviously, we do not have uh, the perfect male and female that we need for our mutation color stacking. So right now, we're reading for uh, health 28,000, melee 17,000, uh, stam 560, and weight 3,900. So those are the good stats that we need in both of those. And when we have the perfect male and female, we're going to be able to start breeding for color mutations. But first step, of course, is to make sure that we have all of our best stats in one uh, male and female turtle. So I'm going to go ahead and keep doing this. And like I said, I'll bring you guys back here when we're ready to hatch. But holy eggs. Look at all these eggs. This is like 300 pounds of eggs. Oh my gosh. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put away this big guy here. We're going to raise up this one. And then we're going to go ahead and start breeding for our color mutations. Now I have to say, when we started this video, we had them side by side. And as you can see, it's a good thing we have a room here because they do move and shift around. It seems like they like to move with the current. So keep that in mind when you guys are doing this with your own Mega Shellons because you don't want to come back and have them wandered off. So I'm going to go ahead and raise this one up and then I will get back with you when we have some color mutations. guys here we go these are the three mutation colors that i got that we're going to stack together so as you can see we have our yellow shell we have our teal chin and we have our bright purple legs and actually this leg is actually on the head highlight and the eyes and face as well so it's kind of more of the uh purple scales but we have the legs the shell 
and the chin. So I'm going to go ahead and raise these guys up. They're all kind of hanging out together. They float around in the water. And then when we are ready to uh, stack these colors together, I'll bring you back. So we have our purple legs fully grown and we have our yellow shell fully grown. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start these mating. Now, this is really weird. I don't know if you guys had this issue as well. Uh, but for some reason, when this little one hatched, it hatched diagonally. And even though it's fully grown, I've even jumped on it and tried to move it around, and it will not reposition itself flat. So if you guys know what that is, uh, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, I think it's like a glitch. Good news is, is I'm not looking for the final baby uh, to be like that. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the mating with these two and uh, see if we can't put this purple body, uh, purple legs, and purple belly here is what it looks like uh, onto this yellow shell, and then we'll go from there. Boom, just like that, second egg. All right, guys. So our final mutation stack is going to be our yellow shell with the purple legs and then the light teal body and legs as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do the final breeding and see if we can't stack that teal onto the rest of them. And then we'll have our fully stacked mega shell on to end out our video. Yes, all right, yes. Guys, we got it. We got our final stacked mega shell on. We've got our teal chin, purple legs, and yellow shell. I could not be more thrilled. This took literally forever, and we finally got our final stack. So uh, I'll raise them up, and I'll meet you guys back at base to show them off a little bit in the sunlight. See you in a sec. All right, guys, as promised, our fully grown Mega Shell on. This thing turned out fantastic. It literally took me two full days and a couple hundred eggs, but you know what? It turned out great. We've got the yellow shell, the purple legs, and the blue chin, and I couldn't be more thrilled. You can see I've got some boring plain Mega Shell ons hanging around, and this one is not. This one is fully stacked fully colored and I'm really 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 happy. So again guys this is just a simple mutation stack. Three color regions on the Mega Shell on. Pull out the mutations and then stack them together. Let me know if you guys have any name suggestions for me. Make sure to put those in the comments below. And uh, I, yeah I think that's going to do it for today's episode. So make sure to hit that like button for me if you haven't already done so. And then of course hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.